The following program is intended for informational purposes only and not as a standalone training tool. Please refer to flexco.com for other flexco literature and detailed instructions. The Alligator Rivet Fastener System features a sturdy design that delivers a long-lasting, dependable splice that is easy to install in the field. Made from stainless steel, the easy-to-install fasteners are corrosion and abrasion resistant. Forged corrugated connecting pins help ensure your splice lasts. The Alligator Rivet Splice is easy to install allowing you to lace the belts directly on the baler without having to remove the belts. There are two installation tools to select from. The standard alligator rivet tool, ART, is ideal for on-site installation. The portable tool offers many user-friendly features, such as a belt clamp, fastener stop, and belt edge guides to ensure the finished spliced ends line up properly. When the fasteners and belt are secured in the tool, you are able to easily drive the rivet pilot nail assembly through the fastener plate. The built-in anvil on the tool does the rest of the work, peening the base of the rivet and breaking off the pilot nail. The multiple alligator rivet tool, MART, utilizes the same tool base and installation technology, but the top guide block assembly allows for easier installation making it an ideal installation tool for higher volume users, such as agriculture dealers. Please continue to watch as we show the simple installation steps using the MART tool. Before beginning installation, take proper safety precaution to protect eyes and ears. Belt Preparation First, square up the belt end by lining up off the center line and marking your cut line. For a safe and precise cut, use the Clipper 14-inch belt cutter. For rough top belts, skive belt 3 quarter inch to 1 inch from the belt end, completely removing the rough top only. Now you're ready to install fasteners. Insert the fastener strip into the tool, making sure the alligator logo is facing up. Insert the skived belt into the fastener strip and against the belt edge. Make sure the belt is aligned with the appropriate belt edge guide. For balers that utilize the 6.8 inch wide belts, it will be necessary to drive the 7 inch location pin down flush with the tool base in order to align the belt edge with the 6.8 inch line on the tool. Next, clamp the belt securely. The clamps are adjustable to meet varying belt thickness. Tap all fasteners with a one pound hammer until they touch the belt. Install the guide block with the alligator logos facing the same direction. Tighten the thumb screws. Using a one pound hammer, tap the guide block to engage the locating pins between fastener plates. Retighten the thumb screws, being careful not to over tighten. Next, load the rivets into the guide block. Using an air hammer, drive a rivet through each end plate. If an air hammer is not available, a hand punch can be used to drive the rivets. Using either the air hammer or hand punch, drive the remaining rivets working across the fastener strip. Remove the guide block and unclamp belt. Tap the middle of the belt to disengage rivets from the pilot nails. Lastly, remove the belt. Nails should remain in the tool when removing the belt. After installing the alligator rivet fasteners, inspect to ensure they have been properly applied for maximum splice longevity. First, inspect to ensure the fasteners are fully clinched and you should not be able to catch your fingernail under the front edge of the fastener plates. Using the alligator rivet application gauge that is included with the tool helps to ensure fasteners are properly set.
The finished splice should fit into the maximum finished rivet height slot in the gauge. Second, there should be a slight puckering of the belt at the front edge of the top plates. Third, rivets should be fully set and curled on the bottom side of the splice. Fourth, the fastener loop should be oval in shape and easily accept the hinge pin. Lastly, fasteners should be inset one quarter inch, 6.4 millimeters, from each belt edge. If the fasteners need to be compressed further, place the installed fasteners back into the tool with the pilot nails still in place and finish setting the fasteners. Do not attempt to further compress the fasteners by pounding them with a hammer against a floor or other surface. Doing so will lessen the life expectancy of the splice. When properly clinched, turn the tool over and remove all pilot nails. Tap with a hammer if necessary. Repeat this same installation process on the other belt end. Notch the trailing end of the belt. Bring the ends of the belt together and insert the hinge pin. Resizing fasteners for worn belts. You will need to resize the fastener if your belt is worn or if your belt is not exactly 4, 6, 6.8, 7, 10, or 14 inches. In order to resize alligator rivet fasteners, you will need a tape measure, a square, a 14 inch belt cutter, rough top belt skiver, or an alligator RB1 belt grinder, a hacksaw, and a pencil. First, square, cut, and skive belt as described earlier. Next, position fastener strip one quarter inch from the edge of the belt. On opposite belt edge, locate the position at which you will cut the fastener strip between the fastener plates, ensuring at least a quarter inch between the fastener plate and belt edge. In this example, you will need to remove three fastener plates. Cut off the fastener plates using a hacksaw. Do this for both fastener strips. Fit the fastener strips together and center them on the belt ends. This is important and will help ensure proper alignment. Mark both belts at the edge of the centered fastener strips. Insert fastener strip into tool with the alligator logo facing up. Insert the belt into the fastener strip and against the belt stop. Align the marks on the belt with the ends of the fastener strip. You are now ready to begin installation as shown earlier in this video.